So, as you've seen from the thumbnail, the beta season is over with Inter. We managed to win the treble, which is unreal. You might have seen that in the tactic video that I released a bit before this one. But yeah, we won the treble, absolutely buzzing with that, with three at the back, which is, makes it even better. Showing you can do it with a different tactic. So, what I like to do now is, this is the end of season review, and I haven't seen this yet. So I thought we'd just go through it, and then we'll get to the games that mattered, and the tactics that got us there. So, end of season review, that's the three trophies we managed to win. League, Serie A, the Italian Cup, and the Champions League, up to here, the new arrivals. So this screen's quite cool, busy season in the transfer market, and it just shows the players that we bought, and we only bought four players. Because when I, when I got there, Inter had two million to spend, so we had to generate a few funds. The big sign, and the only one who played a huge part was Robin Gorsons there from Atalanta. JD will know about him. But he played down the left hand side. They've got him down as a fullback, but I played him there and I played him as a defensive winger. And he did a right job for us. Starts his 32 games and he ended up with three assists, which is moderate, but that's not what he was there for. Uh, oh, back to that. And we also bought John Stones in as a bit of cover. Didn't really play. And a couple of backup players there. You might recognise one of those from past saves. Next tab, the season's results. So I'm guessing. It's going to show some key results, so yeah, here we go. Showing the league table, basically, how it unfolded. Win the Serie A. We were brilliant in that league. 85 points. We won it by one point, only losing five games. Very good. Romelu Lukaku, 35 goals in the season, in the league. He finished in the whole season with 45, I think. So, insane. This is another cool tab. Moments to remember. What's this one? Showing, oh, this is cool. So it's showing the different wins that we got. So biggest win, Parma nil into five. That was in October. That was a brutal win. That was a big win there. Inter against Zebra, Juve. So showing that the tactic can batter Juventus. And goal of the season, Ericsson. I think that was a free kick in a 4-1 win against Genoa. That's cool. Finances, that shows you club rep and revenue you brought in. I mean, from competition prize money is a big one there. 100 million we brought in, so... All their finance geeks will be loving this page. How you lined up. So I'm guessing this is the favoured lineup for the season. So there you go. It says we'll rotate the team a fair amount this season. Because we had to. When you get into this game, you'll see the amount of... If you've got a few competitions on the go, your players can get absolutely knackered. And uh, I pushed it a few times this season. So if I was going to do another season on this, I'd make sure my squad was far deeper. Because I nearly got found out a few times. But yeah, that was the main team. Just looking at it there. I'd probably say Brozovic or he's lucky to get in that team because he only played half, but the rest of them, absolute pillars of it. Pillars of it. Player of the season for me, maybe that'll get onto the next tab, but for me it was Hakimi because he was an absolute legend. He plays a winger and he can play wing back, so he's one to watch out for. But here's the accolades coming up. Let's have a look at this. Again, I've not seen any of this. All right, cool. Oh, it's got my age in 40 because that's what I'm going to be next year. Club awards, so fans play the season was Kolarov, had an absolute ball buster of a season. I recommend picking that guy up if you can. He's getting on a bit, but he's absolutely class for a ball playing centre back. If you're going to play three at the back, or even a wing back system, 100% look to get Kolarov in. Uh, I think he's only on a one year deal when you first sign him, when you first get to the game. But I've made him re-sign, but he'll be available, and he's class. And for his age, his physicals are still really good as well. Oh, got to go all the way back. Right. Uh, young player of the season was Hakimi, that's the winger I told you about. Absolute class, look at those. Acceleration, pace, is a demon crossing. He scored 12 goals for us, 9 assists in Serie A. In total, he got 16 goals for us from the right wing with 13 assists. So, fully deserved. Oh, I've done it again. The total package this squad gave us this season. Top score, goal scorer ever, most clean sheets ever, most assists. Player of the match awards, 10 for Hakimi. We got our worst discipline was only Gagliardini. No red cards this season, which is outrageous for one of my teams. Right, what's this tab then? So it's just a little bit about what the press say, into new what it took to get the job done. They looked imperious in the middle of the season. We did have an infamous FM glitch. And near the end of the season, we lost three games on the bounce in the league. And I thought, oh, here we go. But we recovered, so that's sweet. There's the uh, trophies we managed to take home. Serie A, Champions Cup, Italian Cup. Another quote, you know, looked a class above in the core months right at the heart of this season. They were a trendy pick for the title, but they've shown why, so that's cool. So we we're expected to win the league. And we did, and we we're always in that top three, or four, I think the lowest minute down was fourth, so my job was never on the line, so that was a relief. 
And that's the end of that, so how cool is that? A little reminder of the tactic that got us there. There it is, it's the 3-1-4-2. And it lasted the whole season and did an absolute worldie for us. The only things I changed slightly was sometimes I changed a couple of the player roles and most of the time it was Latoro Martinez's because the poor lad, Lukaku was nailing all the goals, so it was just a game involved a bit more. He, he was either playing a deep line forward, a false nine, lastly he started playing a complete forward, but the guy can play all three, he's another class player. That was the formation we'd gone with. The only time I tweaked it massively, I say massively, it was one position change, was for the Champions League final, which we'll get to now. Because it was Man City and I knew we'd be starved of the ball, all I did was I dropped Martinez there to a shadow striker, so he's a little bit deeper. We played a little bit more, slightly more defensive than we normally would, but he did the trick perfectly. So let's get on to that Champions League game. Here's the Champions League game. 2-1 after extra time. I'm telling you not, we absolutely dominated it. If I just get the stats up, 23 shots, 8 on target. City had 5 shots and 2. So they were bloody lucky that they managed to take it to extra time, in honesty. So, here's the goals. First one, that's Lotoro. Now he's in that shadow striker position, so he started deeper, if you notice. He started back here somewhere. So he picked the ball up on the counter like we were planning to. Lukaku in an absolute shed load of space there. Slotted it away, 46 goals for the season. It was never in doubt. That was the early doors. Later on, 86 minute, and we thought we were done. You can see we were a bit more defensive lined up there. I dropped my wingers back to wing backs just to see us through. But alas, City picked a hole through us. Fernandinho back to Jesus and Rodri here. And I mean, at that point there, it looks like I've got no problems, but somehow, match engine doing its thing. I the needle stuff from Rodri straight through for Phil Ford and off the bench. Slotted it in 86 minutes there. So we're three minutes off. Fearing the worst of what lies here. Went to extra time, hammering through extra time, 110 minutes on the clock, good old fashioned set play. Now if you know me, you know about my set players and how I like to hit um, in near post corners. I've highlighted Vidal there, you can just see him above my big head. It's the old near post corner trick. It's like I wrote it, innit? <laughs> I've always gone on about these near post corners, but in my wildest dream I did not think a near post corner would win me the Champions League and clinch me the treble. But here it is, ball comes in for Brozovic, Vidal near post, pings it in, that gave us the Champions League and completed the treble. That's the mini-series done of Forza Inter, enjoyed it, but I can't lie to you, I am looking forward to next week when the main game comes out so I can really get my teeth into a long-term save because I don't know what it is, these big clubs, they don't need my help, they're already, they're already rolling out there, so I can't wait to get my teeth into Darlington, that's the first one we're going to do, Resurrecting Darlington, Earthquake it's called. That'll be on the channel. In the meantime, I'm going to kick out some role videos, some tactic videos for you to get your teeth into. But yes, hope you enjoyed it. That was cool. First time I've ever won a treble. But hey, it was with Inter Milan, but we did do it with three at the back. Mm -hmm.